And joining us now is Harry Mosier, who is from Wheaton and is now the immediate past president of the Kansas Livestock Association. And uh, Harry, Happy New Year. And uh, normally we would do this about a month earlier, but uh, uh, this good old COVID thing caused everything to, to be virtual this fall. Yeah, we've, uh, we've learned just as you and I are right now, this Zoom thing, we've uh, learned to use it pretty efficiently and, and uh, pretty effectively really uh, to get our business done for the year. Now, as we go throughout the program, probably the second part, we'll talk about maybe some reflections you have on your year as leading uh, the state's largest livestock uh, association. But uh, let's, uh, I guess, talk about matters at hand. Uh, even though it was virtual, the uh, business was conducted a little bit different. You had several breakout meetings and you did set policy for uh, this coming year. Yeah, we took care of the business end of things. Uh, like you said, all the committees and councils met in uh, Zoom meetings and any member was allowed to, to register and take part in those. Uh, they brought forward the, any resolution that needed to be uh, confirmed or or new uh, resolutions. And uh, then we had the annual meeting uh, the 17th of December, which uh, we really didn't want to do, but the way things turned out, uh, Wichita and, and Sedgwick County pretty much shut down their county and limited it to 25 people in a meeting. Uh, so it was a good choice on our part not to hold the in-person meeting and go with the Zoom meeting. Uh, also, it looked like from what uh, we were able to see, you still had uh, uh, good uh, uh, industry and uh, industry alliance partners that uh, wanted to show their support uh, to uh, to KLA. Yeah, we we've been very fortunate in that aspect that our our sponsors uh, stayed right with us and uh, either either funded some of it or said they're going to fund next year. They haven't backed away from it because they understand that too. They're doing business the same way. Uh, so we're very fortunate in that area. What, uh, what was the biggest challenge, I guess, uh, facing uh, the industry, you know, maybe even non-related to, to COVID this past year? I don't, I don't know, Ken. I think almost everything was related to COVID or it seemed like it was. Uh, you know, we had, we had some ups and downs, especially with the market and keeping, you know, trying to keep uh, – the packing house is open and flowing. That was definitely a big part of what happened, uh, you know, and that affected our market and it affected a lot of people. Uh, we were busy with our congressional group out in Washington with the uh, PPP and and uh, the, the payments and trying to get those right, you know, so really everything we kind of did was related to uh, COVID. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of something that wasn't, but it seemed like everything we dealt with this year was was uh, with the virus. And we're going to continue that part of the conversation uh, as you can kind of reflect. Now you've had a, a few weeks after uh, the, the the turning over uh, as your presidency, so we'll talk about that and more. Harry Mosier from Wheaton, the uh, media past president of the Kansas Livestock Association, is our guest. We'll have more in just a moment. <music> 